Hello and welcome back to Kitchen Voyeur, the show where we show you not only how to cook, but tell you a little bit about why it's good for you. Today, our featured recipe is whole kernel buckwheat. Nino's gonna help me out with this because she has a Russian way of doing it and a Russian way of choosing the actual kernels. And let me tell you just briefly why I think this is a great grain to use. Despite the name buckwheat, there's nothing weedy about this. So if you have gluten sensitivity or wheat sensitivity, this is a fantastic grain to get to know. We're gonna make it as a whole kernel rather than as a mashed up porridge because there's a real advantage to eating whole kernel grains because they make it further down the digestive tract, down here to the colon where all the bugs live and they feed the good belly bugs. So we like whole kernel grains. Now tell us a little bit about why we're using this imported stuff from Russia as opposed to just going down and getting the white stuff from the supermarket. You know, Mark, I really don't know scientifically why. All I can say is that every time I've tried to buy it um, at Whole Foods uh, in a bulk section, um, my kernels tend to break down into the porridge. So it, the, the buckwheat that we get here, not imported one from Russia, is um, I think it's first of all it's not toasted and second of all the ratio we cook this to, uh, one to two kind of like rice um, it, it, it tends to become porridgey um, and so I tend to like to buy what I'm accustomed to I grew up with this and so I use this as a rice with kind of like a garnish on the dish uh, yeah with with um, other foods so um, that's why I use this. So let me see if I, I, I understood you. This is a roasted, this is pre-roasted, right. um, and it holds up a little bit better under right. cooking. It doesn't turn into mush or mashed right. potatoes. Right. And what and that's and then how you use it then is more of like a pilaf or a rice right. rather than a porridge. Right, you can uh, use more water and turn it into mush if mm -hmm. you would like to mm -hmm. because some people like to eat it in the morning right. as a as a breakfast cereal. Right. You know? so, so it can go sweet, it can go savory, it's, it has a really deep nutty flavor yes. to it. It's fantastic and, yes. and um, it's true. I tried using both the imported and the domestic and the domestic just broke down and turned into really kind of pasty uh, stuff and this stuff for whatever reason held its shape and its chewiness and nuttiness factor. So this is good. Um, you can get it in specialty stores, import stores, or Amazon. online, and we'll put a link to that as well. Okay. Okay. All right. So what do we this. do now? Oh, so on, so this is it. This is all we. That's all the ingredients this we is, need. Okay. Yes. Do you pre-soak it? No. What I do do is I wash it, always rinse okay. it, um, and then I toast it a little bit. You toast it some more. Butter. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So let's do this. So we're just gonna. This is about one cup of buckwheat. We're gonna rinse it. So you always, whenever you rinse it, you always want to try to look for the darker pieces. That's just a toasted skin. Okay, know? all right. So that's so not a rock. Clean, right, right. Although we would want to get those out as well, right? Right, right. And sometimes you'd be surprised. You'll have a piece of, um, you know, uh, wood or something in there. So once we're done with this, we're just gonna go ahead over here and put it on the stove. So Nina, what are we doing now with this? So we're just gonna do a little bit of um, toasting of it. What I like to do is put about, you know, two tablespoons of butter. Okay. As my grandma says, you can't ruin food with butter. Cannot ruin food with butter, okay. Yes, and so we're just gonna toast it um, on a medium heat. Now how long do you toast it for? You know, because it's already toasted when it comes, However, um, you know, it's been sitting in the stores in those packages for a while. I like to kind of um, sort of freshen it up. Freshen it up. Give it about, I would say, about five to seven minutes, not more. Um, give it a little bit of golden color. Um, melt butter. I've been toasting it before we start chewing it, so this is about ready. Okay. Um, once the butter melts, you just add um, two cups of water per one cup of buckwheat, so okay. kind of like rice. Just yes. a two to one. If you like it uh, to be more porridgey, then you do a little bit more water. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, there you go. And then you add um, sea salt. Um, and um, buckwheat tends to like salt, kind of like rice. Um, 
and then you bring it up to boil and this is a trick that my grandma taught me she says if you want your buckwheat not to become mushy um, you always cover the lid and underneath of it you put the towel so when it starts boiling and simmering it um, the towel soaks up all the um, moisture so I've never heard that before yeah. so if you if you want it and, and probably not over stirring it as well you don't no. want to break it down too no. much you no. want the kernels to remain nice and formed right. and you're saying that in addition to not over stirring it we want to put a towel over here and then put the lid on yes in fact you don't stir it at all once it, ah. it, it comes to boil in about 30 seconds I'm gonna go get a towel really quick just okay. a kitchen towel so what we do is we turn it down to simmer this is already um, yeah it started boiling you cover this like that obviously so it doesn't burn underneath here and then you just cover this up and voila in about 15 minutes you have perfect buckwheat in 15 minutes yes. okay and again uh, this can go either way you can do this savory side or sweet side for a morning thing you could you could add currants or raisins or um, you know cinnamon and apples and that kind of thing or you could add all your savory spices and right. it's, it's great I've had That's it both right. ways it's wonderful yes. and you can also use it as a quinoa you can do it with salads or yeah. anything that you wish. It's ever called. Yes. That's right. Right. Yep. Awesome. So, okay. There you go. We'll see the final product in about 15 minutes. Good. Yep. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. We're going to see how this buckwheat turned out. All right. The big unveil. Ready. Here we go. There you go. So, that looks beautiful. The kernels are well preserved separately from each other. It almost looks like a bulgur to me. All right. Give Let's it a try, try this here. So you can see very nice individuation of the kernels. It's really good. It's really kind of nutty. That's what it is. It? Now you and I were talking that one of the cures for like traveler's diarrhea or like just a bad gut when you're over there is the the Georgians will give you this plus some Greek style unsweetened yogurt and together this is the treatment for an upset tummy and that makes a huge amount of sense to me because what you've got is the prebiotic the fuel for the good bugs and the probiotic in in the form of the yogurt all together in one package and you eat that for breakfast every morning for a few more morning, mornings your tummy starts feeling better no medicine involved because food is medicine right yeah and they actually call it a, a a colon cleanse. They call it a colon, colon cleanse. cleanse. Yeah, so <laughs> that's a pretty good tasing colon cleanse compared to some of the things I've seen in the health food store. So this is wonderful. Thank you so much for You're showing welcome. me how to do that. I'm going to go home and make this myself. Awesome.